You, you know, this kind of reluctant El Nino that we're trying to get to have happen has been part of a larger pattern over the past decade. It's been tough to get El Ninos. We've been dominated by La Nina, the, the cooler phase, which has led to a suppression of global temperatures and this slowdown that we've seen in the rate of surface warming over the past decade. When you get a La Nina event, it tends to keep the heat in the ocean, doesn't release it to the atmosphere. So all that heat being trapped by carbon dioxide, by greenhouse gases, stays in the ocean. Now, when you get the opposite, the, La, or the uh, El Nino effect, then that heat can be released to the atmosphere and you get large rates of surface warming. What we found was that some of the heat in recent years is going deeper into the ocean. We, we certainly think that the planet is still warming, but that warmth is not necessarily being seen right at the surface where it gets manifested in, in the global mean surface temperature. So all that heat is there, and eventually it's going to be released to the atmosphere. And there's a good chance that 2015 will again be the warmest year on record for the atmosphere. So we would have back-to-back -back warmest years on record.